Today we're going to take a look at another interesting machine from H.G. Wells novel, The War of the Worlds, released in 1898. This is the flying machine, which, as you could tell, is flying, obviously. <laughs> and it pairs really well with the classic tripod, which is also from the same book. Now, it's kind of cool to see an expansion upon this because I thought the tripod was the only thing. At least it's the one that's usually depicted. And it didn't really have a good description on what it looked like until 1906 when Mr. Correa, the same person who made this image, decided to make this image. And thus, we have this. The Flying Machine. It has a plethora of different attacks, including but not limited to these grappling hooks that are very similar to the tripod. It also can shoot out a poisonous smoke that can kill you or any other enemy in the air since I'm flying around. It has a beam that can kill bigger enemies and it does not matter what their health is. Kind of like Mr. Tripod here. So these two NPCs have a lot of similarities. This NPC in particular has 65,000 health, but the flying machine has even more with 76,000 health. So I thought this was going to be a bit of a downgrade, but it looks to be more of an upgrade. All right, so getting into this, guys, if you even go to the ground, it will go to your level. However, I will say that it's incredibly difficult to dodge this NPC's attacks just because, well, it's so quick. And when I first saw this thing, I thought it was small. I didn't think it was this big. It resembles Saturn a lot. Um, oh yeah, there's that uh, there's that poison smoke attack, by the way. Let's see what happens when we get grabbed by the tentacle, tendril, wire things. Oh. Oh. We get pulled in. Wait. Where'd we go? Oh, there we are. We're dead. As hell. So, there's plenty of different ways. Wow, you asshole. There's plenty of different ways this NPC can kill you, and... It's pretty important to not stand still just because, eh, no, it doesn't matter, you'll die either way. Okay, we have to no clip because this NPC is extremely strong and we're definitely going to pair it up against a lot of NPCs today to see how well it fares, including its brethren, the tripod. Shooting it doesn't seem to be very effective. This thing is kind of weak to explosives though, kind of like, again, his brother. Um, okay. I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> I was trying to shoot this, but it, it just kind of like orbits it. So, you're not going to be doing much with the Half-Life rockets. We're going to need something a little bit more explosive. Now, some of you might be wondering, what's the difference between this and the complex version? Well, the complex version, there's the eyeball. Okay, all is well in the world. Well, you'll notice the complex version has a heat ray. Yeah, it vaporizes you. <laughs> okay, this is a this is a little ridiculous. We can't even spawn now. The second we spawn, we die and die and die. So that heat ray I was talking about earlier, this is the one that has it. It has way more health as well. So just OP. Now there's one unfortunate thing with this NPC, and that is you cannot possess it. And that's because it uses an experimental movement type, so we cannot control it, which makes me a little sad. We could drive it. We. So we gotta do it, of course. Two brothers, if you can call these brothers, I guess. They both have heat rays or death rays or freaking laser beams, whatever you want to call it. And they both are death machines, to put it lightly. One of them has much more health. Let's see which one is stronger. Okay, that wasn't much of a fight. Um, I don't know what's going on. He's he's going in and out of reality. <laughs> is he in the the skybox? I don't know, but we can see that he is still alive. He's just glitching hardcore. Alright, so maybe that wasn't all that fair, so we're going to spawn the regular flying machine now to see if it's any better for the standard tripod. Let's see which one wins. Mm -hmm. 
And unfortunately, the tripod loses once again, but it was an insanely close battle. So I think maybe that extra bit of health is really what set the deal here. However, even if they were the same health, I'm pretty sure that the flying machine would still have a few thousand health left. So regardless, it doesn't matter. We can see the flying machine is definitely a better death machine than the tripod. So maybe it can beat the tripod, but can it fight Godzilla? Let's see if the King of Monsters can come out on top against this cute little Cyclops orb thingy. And now we can see the true devastation of the Heat Ray. When he fights a big NPC, they're put on a timer. They have to kill the flying machine quicker than he can fully embody them in the disintegration ray. Which pretty much means they better be quick or they're going to lose no matter what. And once again, this is regardless of health, it's strictly on the size of the NPC. But we can see that it was a pretty close battle. He lost roughly about half his health, so not too bad, Godzilla, not too bad. Let's see if Godzilla's mecha variant has any better luck. And what an amazing change. I did, by the way, spawn in a new flying machine. 126,000 health. And it didn't matter. Mechagodzilla is just too strong. Look at that health bar. But like I said, the health bar does not matter. But we can see the petrification kind of happening down here. It got up to about his thigh. Um, but it didn't make it any further than that. So now we're gonna go the OP route. Let's see how well he can go up against Ares, the god of war. Guys, I think Ares is having a stroke. So this will be a true testament to the flying machine's prowess. We know Ares has a lot of health, but we can see it just doesn't matter. You can have millions upon millions upon millions of health, and it doesn't really matter because it's all about the size. And yeah, he didn't take an ounce of damage. So I think the last thing to do is to test it with admin guns, and to no surprise, it gets one-shotted. But that was the War of the Worlds flying machine. Once again, don't try to fight this thing yourself or this is going to happen every single time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video though. If you did, please leave a like down below and subscribe to see more videos like this and suggest things for the channel. Let me know what you want to see on this channel, whether it's something different in the way I portray the mods or maybe just a different mod altogether. I am kind of making changes on the fly, if you guys couldn't tell, just to kind of see what works and what doesn't. So let me know your suggestions down below. All the links are in the description as always, as well as the amazing mod creators. Thank you guys for all the things you do. Thank you to the viewers, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, thanks for watching and farewell.